giving students a hands-on emergency room experience. While everything looks real, it's all role play. Eric had a cost has more on what young students are taking away from this. The pandemic definitely put a hold on it, but we're excited to be back again. Deanna Bird is experiencing her first full-scale emergency simulation. They're making a return at Roberts Wesleyan for the first time since 2019, staging something like this for students from nursing, social work, and criminal justice took six months to organize. I had a, a patient who was in an accident, and he had a chest pain. We knew he was having... Uh, so um, a STEMI, and then he ended up losing his pulse, and we just ran a code. When students walk in, they're assigned a patient with the help of providers, a.k.a. professors, also involved in the role play. Robert Dorman is one of those. He says having something like this after a two-year hiatus is so important for students. From our simulation mannequins to today, we have actually uh, several real actors that are made up with um, bruising and moulage and etc. While it can be stressful, Dorman says students take comfort in knowing they won't be graded. It's all just the experience, making mistakes, and learning how to work with other departments. Glenn Grana is a criminal justice professor whose students are working on the investigative portion. I always tell my kids if I blindfolded you, walked you in, put you in the bed, and then took the blindfold off, you would think you're in a real hospital. There's a lot of dynamics. So there's witness interviews, hostile suspect interviews. It's basically um, about 45 minutes of controlled chaos. Controlled chaos that suits people like Deanna, who want to make a career out of this eventually. I like the, I like the high energy, you know, the, you don't know what you're going to get, taking the story and putting it all together to, you know, to better the patient. Reporting, Eric had a cost, News 8. Eric Hedda, thank you. After graduation, Deanna plans on starting work in an emergency department at Strong Memorial Hospital.